going to tie another version of the Hot Melt Hot Spot Shrimp, this time a pink one. So again we have a one sort of, sort of grub style check nymph type hook in here. This is a size 12 and I'm using a red thread this time, you use pink, you can use whatever you want. So again I am going to use a little bit of partridge hackle as the breathers on the back of this thing. So I'll just strip off a little bunch of that. Even if some of the marabou -y kind of stuff comes with that, don't worry about that. That'll actually add a bit more extra movement. And bind that on at the back and then take it as far back as you want your curvature to go in your fly. Now for a rib I'm going to use a very fine hot pink wire, it's by Semperfly this one. Catch that in and again tie it back as far as the partridge portion. So you can choose to weight your fly if you want. Some people like unweighted ones to fish close to heavy flies so they have more movement in them. This time I'm going to put in a weight uh, what I'm doing is putting in a little strip of lead, setting it on top of the hook shank so that when the fly sinks it should sink hump down and lead should be soft enough that you should be able to sort of mould it with your thumbnail if you need get a little bit of taper in at the front or to get some you can sort of dig your nail into it and it'll give you little ridges there to help the tie in stuff catch and if you want to make it extra secure you can take a little bit of super glue and glue those underneath wraps to that so I have a pink synthetic dub in here don't worry too much about what make or whatever it is it's possibly SLF or something like that, but uh, just whichever colour of pink suits you yourself. I'm going to dub that on thin to begin with and then we're going to try and thicken up a little bit as we get towards the, the centre, although how thick again depends on how you like the shape of your flies and the thinner they are the faster they should sink because if you tie them very thick then there's more water resistance. For the hot spot on this one, I'm going to use uh, Spectra Dub again. Uh, this time I'm going to use a 358, which is, seems to be like a mixture of reds and purples and some sort of a pearly sort of thing through that too. Spectra Dub is really handy because it, it's so fine that it, it dubs well into nice tight little dubbing ropes. And then we'll go back to the pink dubbing again for the front of the fly. So get it up to roughly the thickness of the spot and then start to thin it down as we get towards the eye of the fly. Super glue to hold that place. And now I'm just going to stroke anything that's sort of sticking up above down. And again, we're going to take our hot melt glue gun. stretch it, it should sort of taper out towards the front here and you can wet your finger and smooth 
that down as much as you want around the sides of your fly and then I'm going to take a lighter and without setting fire to the rest of the fly Slightly heat that up, and then we'll start with our wire rib, and it should dig in slightly to the hot melt glue because it's not fully cooled down. We get to the front, just half hitch your wire. Head. You can use a whip finishing tool as well if you want. And that is a fly tied again. I'm just going to, now that the wire is on that, run the lighter across the back of it. I said if you want to do any more shaping to it, you can do it at this stage. Or just let it dry out like that. Or cool down like that and set, should I say. Now take a dubbing needle and just between your turns of rib just stick this through the, the dubbing and pick it out to give you some sort of legs. Turn it over. Do the same. And now we have a little hot spot, hot melt, pink shrimp. Little dab of super glue with the needle just onto our wire wraps for the head just to set that in position. And that's our slide hide. <laughs> 